Hello Aries and thank you for tuning in to my channel. So you guys, this is your horoscope for April the 1st through the 15th. Keep in mind this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. This is for sun, moon, rising. If you don't know your um your moon or your rising, please look it up at Cafe Astrology. Oh, these cards are all over the place, you guys. Sorry, I have to fix this, you guys. Bear with me. All right, Aries. Um, um, I feel like there's an opportunity that is being offered to you. Um, you're being called, okay? Um, I feel like you know that already. Um, let's look at the bottom of the deck. Um, very mischievous. You could be spying on somebody, could be spying on you. Um, this could be someone who is younger than you, or this could definitely be you um, acting out, speaking, um, just r not even thinking about what they're saying here, okay? Um, I feel like it's a very fiery, passionate, it's um, very... Um, a kind of um, stern, very rude. This person could possibly end up in jail. Um, there's a message here for you, Aries. There's a message. I feel like um, this message is coming through um, and you're hearing it. You know what it is. You're not confused about it. You hear the calling. You're awakening to it. Um, you could... There's a sense of daydreaming as well. Not seeing things clearly. You have a very chaotic energy. That's what you want. Very, very chaotic. Very chaotic. Watch yourself, Aries. Um, you're daydreaming here. You're fantasizing about something that is real. I feel like you're being called to something, but it's like it's like a fantasy. Okay. I feel like you're very chaotic. Things aren't working out. Um, but it's like you want it to go like that. You've been carrying this heavy burden. You're ready to put down this burden. Um, you've been left out in the cold. You have chaos about you. I feel like, uh, you know, um, we have a tower moment. You're moving away from that tower moment. Uh, you're moving towards calmness. Um, after a chaos, chaos, there's so much chaos right here. Very delusional. Acting out. Um, acting very immature. Um, and I feel like you're letting the tower fall. And you're definitely moving away from that energy. Um, but you're moving away from it, but it's still, you still hold it in your mind that, in your emotions, that things will work out, things will get better. Um, I 
I feel that you're very, you have, uh, there's a lack of vision here. Um, there could be a deal that falls through, but it is in a challenging position. You have a lot of indecision here. Um, I feel like um, you're worried about money, you're worried about materialistic things. Um, I feel like there's a coldness, bitterness here, Aries. Um, this could be someone who is distracting you, I want to say, um, pulling you down, giving you bad advice. Um, leading you in the wrong direction. Um, I feel in the outcome here, this is about someone who stabbed you in the back and you're really reviewing about how this person stabs you in the back. And um, there's a sense of just pull yourself back from it. Don't let this person get to you this week um, because they already got you enough. I feel like this person probably lost, they helped you lose a job. Um, they could have, um, told you things that weren't true. Um, literally, uh, I feel like this person could have been an air sign. But I definitely feel like this person was very untruthful to you. Um, and you are learning that now. Now you're starting to see it. Now you're starting to see the reality of, the, of it all. Um, I really want to get a card here to see who this person is. I feel like whatever was offered to you, um, you knew it was like a fantasy. It was like someone was telling you a lie and you knew it and it made you very anxious, chaotic, crazy, you know, it made you this crazy person. N not, I mean like it literally, it made you like almost insane, you know, you're carrying this heavy burden of a household that wasn't stable because this woman here was telling you false lies, okay, um, and, and she was unstabling you or you were unstabling her, whichever way, I feel like, you know, um, there is, you still hoped that this it would fall through, but it didn't. It, this person ended up stabbing you in the back, and now you're reviewing the situation. Who is this person? This person, um, someone who could be very snobbish. Um, I feel like this person was very still, someone who didn't take your offer. Um, this could be someone who um, could be pregnant as well. I feel like uh, we have the Two of Cups energy and we have something that didn't go right. Um, there was delusions. Aries, Aries, Aries. Um, you could have been involved with the Taurus. Um, with the Two of Cups here in reverse indicates um, that this person was putting on a facade, not telling you the truth. Um, this person, uh, let's see if this person, yeah, with the King of Swords here, someone wasn't speaking the truth. Um, it could have been someone older than you, a uh, Divine Feminine. Um, there was a Divine Masculine involved, too. Um, 
something didn't turn out right. Fears, um, illusions. I feel like this person lied about being pregnant um, and about you. There was other people. That, this person doesn't know who the father is. Um, very immature. Um, and there's a lot of heartbreak behind it as well as very pushy. This person was very, very pushy. Um, let's see. Spirit guides, guardian angels. What can you tell me about this person that Aries is dealing with? I feel like a true love. Okay. Um, let's see. One more card. Pull some clarifiers here for true love. Your crown chakra. Is this someone new coming in? Okay, so we have work that still needs to be done. I feel like there's no control here, okay? I feel like if this is a true love, I feel like you need to put your foot down and be very honest with this person who is deceiving you. They're very deceiving you. They're lying to you. Um, they could have uh, another baby with someone else or be pregnant with someone else. Um, they also could be engaged. Um, I feel like this person that you're dealing with is not telling you the full story. Um, they're taking you as a full Aries. I also feel like um, there's a sense that you guys need to open up towards each other. Um, and um, something here is being put off. And you need to take in consideration that... You need to detach from it. You need to take the lead, detach from the situation because it's all lies. Two cards that can describe this person that Aries is dealing with. So we have a look, we have one, two. So we have a message here that's coming through the mail. Um, and it's going to bring luck to you. But who is this person that you're dealing with here? I feel like there's goals here. I feel like um, this person that you're dealing with has... I feel like there's a child involved here. There's definitely a message coming through um, with this individual. I feel like you're dealing with could be a could be someone who is very immature. Um, There's a contract here. It's like something something died here. I feel like there was a baby, there was a miscarriage, and this person is not telling you the truth about what happened. And it's a very hard decision um, to come about. Um, it's very hard to talk about. Um, and that's what's going on, Aries. You're dealing with someone that has had a miscarriage or that is going through a miscarriage and they're not expressing this to you. And they're doing everything in their power to keep it from you. Or somebody had an abortion. back from the situation. 
Yeah, keeping things, yeah, pulling back from the situation, not wanting to reveal the truth about love here. Being anxious to tell you what the real deal is, okay? Wow. Okay, so that was a strong reading. Okay, thank you guys.